Hi, my name's Simon. I'm going to show you how I went about making my own pickups. I've been messing about with guitars since the mid 80s and I've made a few, but never the pickups. There are many different types of pickups found in electric guitars, um, but they all have two things in common. Wire, coils and magnets. So here's a Fender style, single coil. Um, you can see the slugs sticking through the fiberboard. You can see the enamel wire. That's pretty much it. Here's a P90, bigger coil. Um, this time the magnets are underneath, as you can see. Um, again, still very crude. And here's a humbucker. There are two coils in there and they work uh, together to cancel the hum. How pickups actually work is quite complex but that won't stop me from grossly simplifying it here. The magnetic field surrounds the pickup so that when something iron, such as the strings, vibrates within it, a current is induced. This is very old technology discovered by Michael Faraday in the 1830s. Here he is on the left having a heated discussion with a colleague. So how do we go about making one? I started with a kit. The one featured in the winding demonstration that you're going to see um, was in all in pieces. I had to essentially press the parts together. For that, I used my drill press and a small socket so I could press them together against a wood blank that was half an inch wide. Then I sealed them in clear polyurethane lacquer that was to reduce the chance of the copper wire shorting against the pole pieces. So here we are set up with the Telecaster neck pickup ready to go. I've soldered the start down here. Um, I need to trim off the excess which is here. So it's trimmed off. Now I need to let out a bit of this. This is 43 gauge form bar. Okay. So I'm putting some tension on it here. And spinning this round. So guide it first of all to the left. And that should be good for that one. But then the other way. was once set up for a humbucker, so I need to move this. Should we do it? Okay. Now I need to go and edit. I need eight thousand windings. See my rig bouncing. To run mode.
So <clears throat> after about 345, it's getting there. I mean, it's totally uneven, but then that's because I'm a human. So I'm going to try and rest my hand right here without pulling too much. It's about halfway. Just look how things are going. It's getting a bit heavy down towards the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. I will perhaps bias it towards the top now. Let's hope I don't snap it at this point. That's uh, 6,000. Seems to have evened out, if not too much towards the top now, but also the bobbin is getting pretty full. This perhaps, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch, looking at it from there, but the bulge in the middle, sizable. We'll see, see if we can fit it on. There's 7,000. Pretty full. Allowing for the fact that it's not going to have a cover on it, it may still fit into the pickguard. Let's, let's press do another 500 and see what we get. That's pretty, pretty fat. I think we should stop there. Lesson learned here, I think. Don't use this strange squishy double-sided tape that I got from this is Gorilla Tape. It's just irritating that it's uh, it's kind of weird. See? Stretchy, rubbery plastic. Okay. Okay, that's gone. Okay, now I need to get the wire through that hole. So let's, uh, I'm gonna get this in a vise. So I use this small, it's a Stumac nut vise with a bit of uh, gaff tape, not duct tape, gaff tape on the jaws just to soften it up a bit but it helps to uh, hold components in place here's the end here's the end somewhere there we go This will be an opportunity to try the speed up function on my video editing software. Here 
heat up the surround. There we go, you can see the lacquer bubbling a little bit. See the now the uh, form bar sort of bubbling there, so that must be it. Uh, found some uh, solid core pushback wire from uh, when I used to do amp building. So you just push it back, and there it is. So we just need that to. Uh, Sort of offer it up to the hole, make sure it's pulled back, heat it up, like so, jam it in there, okay. Go in here. And that, my friends, is an almost functioning pickup. I will measure it for DC resistance. Things heavy. Not too messy for me. So, with the winding complete, I added some fabric tape and placed them in hot wax. As you can see, the wax seeps into the structure of the pickup, placing the air, which is why you see bubbles. Note the wood the pickups are hanging from. That's new old stock fender wood, which is critical for the tone of these pickups. Here's a demonstration of the pickups, starting with the bridge. Reasonably low gain situation, going into a Wampler Euphoria. some more perhaps rhythmic kind of stuff. King of Tone, going into the Euphoria. 